Hello everyone, I'm Alan, also known as McLaren2009, and today I'm playing Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades in VR, sometimes also known as H3VR, for simplicity's sake. So, what I'm doing specifically, I am setting up... Okay. Oh, wait, no, I forgot how to use this thing. Basically, what I'm doing right now is there was recently an update where they included um, standardized models of basically every... AR-15, M-16, M-4, all of those have been standardized, so they've all been made by the same person. Unfortunately, that means that the older stuff got broken and is now gone. However, um, uh, we can go back and remake them using the new weapons. So, that is what I'm going to do here. Alright, that should be good. Now I grab this. And that's not straight, but it's whatever doesn't have to be perfect. Alright, so, what you do... We need a rifle. How about an M16A4? Sweet. Everyone loves an M16. We need a magazine. We need an optic. Might as well use the kind of optic I'm actually familiar with. And we go back here. We need an uh, ammo panel. Alright, let's put this... How about just right here? Alright. We know what this is, but... We're gonna fill it with API. Armor piercing incendiary rounds. Because it just wouldn't be a gun game if we weren't committing war crimes against sausages. Alright. Good to go. Okay, now, take this over here. And, okay. Now, if I remember how to do this properly... This one... Okay. What I'm trying to do is just zero the optic. So 
So what I've got is I have my target out there at 100 meters. Now, the thing about this specific type of optic... At 100 meters... Uh, if I remember correctly... I should be lining up the top of the chevron. And then the bottom of the chevron is 200 meters. The top of the post is 300. Then there are mill lines going down all the way to 800. The thing is, the rifle can... Uh, accurately shoot at a point target at 600 meters, an area target at 800 meters, and somewhere around 1300 meters is like the max effective range where the bullet's just going to fall out of the sky. <clears throat> now, take all this with a grain of salt I was not combat arms when I was in the Marine Corps I was an aviation electronics technician I fixed radios that come out of planes so the only time I touched a rifle is when I had to qualify with one but the one advantage is when we do qualify is this even in the right place? It's like when you do qualify... Alright, let's see. Put that right there. That would be about where your cheek weld is. Yeah, I got the, I got the optic in the right place. Approximately. <clears throat> so, I am by no means a weapons expert. Not even close. But, the cool thing is, in the Marine Corps, you zero your rifle at 100 meters to make sure you're shooting straight. Then, when you actually go on to qualify, you'll shoot at 200 meters, 300 meters, and 500 meters. And then when you get to table two, you'll shoot a moving target at 50 meters, if I remember correctly. I've actually been out of the Marine Corps for four years now, so you'll have to forgive me if I'm a little bit rusty. All right. So what I'm trying to do is get my chevron or get my site lined up with center of mass. Alright, that is... approximately... Alright, let's... turn off the controls so I don't accidentally mess something up. All right, we're on single shot, rifles loaded. So, all right, well, the thing is, that's not doing me a whole lot of good. So, we're going to switch over to this view, and we want to look at where my shot grouping is. And I want to adjust the sight so that it is in the same place as that grouping. I want to adjust this so that it's lined up with the center of my shots on that chart easy enough, right? 
The problem is, I gotta remember how to do it. Alright. Alright, where am I aiming approximately? Alright, I gotta remember how to do this. Alright, I gotta remember... Do you move the site to the grouping, or do you move the grouping towards the site? Alright, I'm doing... let's see. Nope. Good god. No. Okay. So, you look through there... I'm going to try... I'm going to try moving the grouping towards the site. Let's see if that works. Sweet. Okay, so that absolutely was the thing to do. Now I just gotta figure out what my elevation is. You know what, actually, I don't think I even need to touch the elevation. We might actually be good. was easy. Alright, so let's turn that off. And now I have a rifle that is zeroed in. So now we can go over here. Reset target. Let's see. That should be good. Let's slap on some other stuff and we should be good. Then we can save this one. We weren't ever issued these. It was more so the uh, ground side guys that got them, but I still think they're cool. Now, in case you're wondering, yes, I am a little bit weird and I shoot left handed. Because I am left eye dominant. So basically, if I save this now in its current condition, I can take it with me into, like, uh, the, uh, the kind of, like, Team Fortress map, and I can just shoot random hot dogs with it. So this is now dialed in for me to use. 
so if we go right here matter of fact I kind of like suppressors for some bizarre reason so let's get corded suppressor I just think they're cool and in theory All right, I can't hit the broad side of a barn. So, all right, good to know. <laughs> I can't shoot worth a damn. Alright, so we go back here. We need to save. So there is my now zeroed M16A4. All right, so we have that. Now, let's go back into firearms. We need a carbon. All right, and since I am weird and shoot left-handed, we are going to spawn a left-handed rifle. All right, now we're going to get our same corded suppressor. You know what? Let's not do it that way. Let's do it this way. Let's make this one tan. Foregrip, angled tan. this do? Let's find out. Oh, that's actually really cool. Okay. I can work with that. Although I think it's supposed to be back here. All right, we messed up. We gotta go back. Load. That's where it's supposed to be. All right, back to the drawing board. All right, put this right here. Right.
All right, now I'll put it on. Only one. Yeah, if I had the sight in the wrong place, this isn't gonna work. And the zero is not gonna help. At least not for elevation. Or not. Uh, basically, if I'm at the wrong position looking through the scope, I'm not gonna be looking at it properly and basically things are just going to be all messed up. It's just not a good idea. It is so long since I've done this. Alright, so now we gotta find out if my uh, zero is anywhere close to accurate. And I do not currently have high hopes. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be off. Cool. Turn that off. All right, begin new set. Reset target. Okay, so look through the site, see approximately where we're looking. Crosshair is center of mass on the target, but we're hitting far right. So, now we go back into here. Let's try and see what that does. Nothing. All right, so let's go the other way. starters were not even lined up. lined up, but we're in the wrong place. So... Alright, that makes it even worse.
throw that over there. Alright, this is going to be interesting. Alright, I need to lower my platform down. Alright, now... What do we got? Alright. So. Got our rifle. Put this back on zero. Right side 1.0. Rotate zero. Okay, now... Now my eyes are in the right place. Okay, so, in theory, it's lined up. I think what I need to do is move that over. Let's go two. All right, doing good. All right, let's go to two point five.
Okay, so narrow that down to there. And we should be set on So Okay, sweet. Now we can Bring it a little bit farther over. And... Good enough for government work. Alright, now, the next thing we gotta do... Is we need to lower the elevation. We're shooting that far down. No, I'm doing it the wrong way. Alright, that's... Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing it the wrong way. See my s controls. All right, reset. 
All right, now we need to go higher. Let's go up here and put that right there. And now, in theory... That is exactly where the grouping is supposed to be. Now the rifle is zeroed. All right, so now we can go over here. Now the rifle is zeroed so that we can play with it in other game modes. So now we can go back to what we were working on before with setting up a left-handed M4. So we go over here. We have M4 carbine, left hook. Go into attachments. This seemed like a really cool idea, so we're going to get one of these. But then we're going to go over here. And I'm going to grab one of these. Alright, so we have our scope back here. Perfect. And then we have this. Oh, that's actually really, really cool. Probably impractical as all hell, but it's really, really cool. All right, so now we go over here, we grab our corded suppressor, pop this bad boy on there. the tan angled foregrip. Zero distance, 15 meters. Cool. All right. So while we're making our extremely impractical, pointless M4, I 
I don't think you would put a PEC-15 on this specific rifle. I think there's another one that you pair with the, uh, with the M4. Thank you for following. Hmm. I didn't even notice anybody. Was... <laughs> uh, no, they generally won't work. But the uh, thing about this specific combination that I've got here, you'll notice that this isn't a sight. It's literally just a magnifier. The real sight is the uh, red, is the uh, holographic, or the red dot sight. This is just a magnifier that allows you to zoom in. It's kind of impractical, and it wouldn't really work very well, or it wouldn't be particularly useful in real life. But it's one of those things that you see it in video games and you're like, well, if the video game does it, maybe I can do it. So you see some crazy stuff like this in Call of Duty and you're like, can I do that in this game? Well, the answer is yes, you can. But as they said in the Jurassic Park movie, you were so preoccupied with whether or not it could be done that you forgot to ask if it should be done. The answer is it probably shouldn't. But the uh, next weapon I'm about to create is going to be even less practical. All right, let's bring this into, no, 50 meters. Automatic grenade launcher? Yeah, the, uh, the Mark 19. Belt-fed grenade launcher. I did not know about a 50 cal revolver. I gotta look into that. Alright, let me just make sure I can hit something with this. Alright, good enough. Alright, let's add this. Scan items on shelf. M4 A1 Alright, so we've got this. Now let's go make something extremely practical. Alright, firearms for this a crime against humanity. We need an M16, a... Uh, probably a 2 would be fine. Yeah, 2 should be fine. Just like what we had back in the ROTC program. All right, how about a grenade launcher? Everyone loves grenade launchers. What's that mean? Cool. All right, 
Yeah, that works. Alright. Now we need a rail adapter. Because we need to make the abomination that I have for an airsoft gun. Oh yeah. Yeah, I definitely have to do that too. Alright. Uh, ordnance... 40 by 46? Yeah, it is. Okay, 40 by 46. How about this one? It's kind of like a... Is that the right one? Alright, one second. Let's find out. Fantastic. All right, now let's see if this one is the... Yeah, it's that one. It's kind of like a shotgun. Now I need a I need a sight. The closest thing I've got to what I have in real life is something like I guess this. It's only a four time it's only a four power scope. I don't want to use the uh, TA-31. Alright, let's just go with this and see what it looks like. Now, in, this definitely does not work in real life. I've seen them do this in, I want to say, the movie SWAT. This is absolutely not how you shoot a rifle. <laughs> but it's one of those things that I stupidly thought it looked cool. So we're going to roll with it. Yeah, I can do that, too. All right, let's see. How else you turn the safety off? Table. That table or that table? The one on my left or the one on my right? Right, the gray one. I don't actually know. Looks like a 50 cal. Alright, let's save this abomination.
Okay. Let's see what this sniper rifle is. Let's go into firearms. This is probably an anti-material rifle. It's this. It is an AR-50 Alpha anti-material rifle. It is a 50 BMG. Is it just one shot or doesn't seem to have a magazine. Ah. Cool. Let's send this out to... 300 meters. And I'm thinking I'm going to miss this shot. Alright, let me see if I can support myself in some way. Yeah, it's really hard to do this. Actually, you know what? I did this in, uh, uh, in Tales of Glory. Let me assume a seated position in real life. Yeah. <laughs> I actually did do this in Tales of Glory. Or better yet, let's go pro. Alright. Back up. <clears throat> I gotta be conscious of my play area when I do some stupid stuff like this. This teeny tiny freaking bipod. All right. No, no, no. Let's face this way. All right. All right. Back up. All right. All right. Tighten up my headset so it doesn't fall off my face. Not bad. I like that one. Okay. That one's pretty cool. I like that one. Even though this is the sniper range, sniping's not exactly easy in this game. Of course, it's even harder. Myself, am not a sniper. I was an avionics technician. I may have missed shooting expert by a couple of points back when I was in boot camp, but pretty much all four years I was in the Marine Corps, I was a sharpshooter. Just a sharpshooter. All right, let's see what we got for giant revolver.
think th no, this thing's six six six. Because the five hundred. I mean, that is fifty caliber, but I don't think that's the one you're referring to. Because that's been in the game for like ever. Well, this is 60. That sounds crazy. Lower right corner, 29. Oh. Oh, right here. 50 BMG. Triple regret. Alright. This ought to be interesting. Okay. And it has an iron sight. Okay. Clear. Go to... don't imagine this would be fun to shoot in real life. I feel like this would hurt. charging handle. Alright, so what is this? 762 by 51. Does it have a... Yeah, it does. Alright, so that's probably... Actually, given how big this thing is, it's probably a battle rifle.
it's this. P752. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Cool. All right, well, we only need one. All right. So that is probably enough causing chaos in here. Let's shift focus over to the uh, main menu. And let's go shoot at something that's actually going to start shooting back. go over here to the meat fortress. And let's get something that's going to shoot back. British and American weapons from World War One, but just have to deal with it. All right, so we need a grenade. How about this? <laughs> the only note is it goes boom. It appears you're right. All right. 
I need to change things over here real quick. Let's go get shot. All right, it's just me versus 16 blue guys. Chances are this is not going to go well. Now, because I shoot left-handed, it means I do not properly do the manual of arms for a bolt-action rifle. You're supposed to keep the rifle supported and then take your hand off of the trigger. Or, uh, yeah, take your hand off the trigger to activate the bolt. But, since I'm doing it backwards... I have to no longer support the rifle and bring my hand back to work the bolt with my non-firing hand, which is not how you're supposed to use these. And truthfully, I never even really liked the bolt-action rifles, but I started liking this one, and I don't even really know why. Alright, it's gonna be that kind of a party. Oh, didn't... didn't fully see. The nice thing about the Enfield is the little part back there pops out when you're actually loaded. And I can't have the broad side of a barn. It's been so long since I've done this. Got something. Starting to think they want to hit me. And apparently, they would only load the uh, second set of five rounds if they had enough time. If they were actively being shot at. They wouldn't go through the trouble. They'd just load in the first five and get back to firing. Supposedly. But take anything I say with a grain of salt. I'm not a historian. Even though I think I would probably like it. I just haven't properly studied it. That's a problem. I have not moved yet. They are completely oblivious to where I am.
and this is a full caliber this is a full power rifle so got one Let's move on. If I go up here, I do to upset you guys. I gotta find the medic. Because him, like, shielding all of those guys is making things very difficult for me. There you are. I'm doing good with this Enfield when they got freaking automatics. I'm sitting here with a bolt action and iron sights and still doing damage. Oh, he felt that. Didn't do any damage because he was shielded, but. It definitely hit him. up there. Not thinking I loaded it.
improved. It's not what you're using, as long as you know how to use it. I do not properly know how to use this rifle, but... At least I get to feel like I do. is a problem. Okay, there was no reason to come over here. I need a different location. Okay, I gotta, gotta run. All right, apparently it wasn't that pressing of an issue. The problem took care of itself. They blew themselves up and it had nothing to do with me. This would be infinitely easier if I had the high ground. Grab our shotgun real quick. Peace, love, and war crimes. were made. Video games always make you feel like shotguns have like no range, and 
and that's just not true in the slightest. Shotguns shoot pretty far. And they also don't spread as, like, uh, comically far as they do in video games. Make no mistake, they absolutely do spread. It's just... It's not as extreme as the video games make it look. I'm going to regret not having this loaded. Oh! It gets worse. It gets so much worse. That worked out. <laughs> Alright, that can stay. Both of these can go. That can go keep the 1911. I like that. Let me get a drink real quick. Just a normal rifle. AKM. Now, I gotta remember approximately where they might be. Oh boy! Right there. Yeah, I need it on single shot. 
full auto is just not doing it for me. Let's go up here again. All right, let's go over here. Excuse me. All right, the spies around here somewhere. Hot dogs with French accents. Now I've seen it all. thing is, being up here doesn't help me. Because there doesn't appear to be another way here. So then, like, why did I come in here? What did I gain by doing this? Took some hits on that one. being shot from. I'm losing it. I do not see the person that's shooting at me. Not over there. There's a guy over there. over there. I don't like the invisible ones. But to be fair, if you're paying close enough attention, they're not hard to spot. It's just I don't like them because they're annoying.
Let's go into here. This looks safe-ish. See if anything's going on in chat. Not at the moment. See, the thing is, I don't have the, uh, like, practice with any AK. So it, like, feels weird. Like, I know how to use one. It just feels weird to me. I think it's interesting about looking through a scope or optic of any kind is you might think to close one of your eyes and that does work and that allows you to like look through say a high power scope on like a sniper rifle sort of thing but on something like this sometimes it's best to keep both eyes open. So one eye is looking at the uh, sight and the other one is keeping kind of like aware of what's immediately around you. I forget who taught me that. It's probably something I picked up in combat training. And as you can see, the blue team is nice enough to rock it themselves. So in a manner of speaking, the trash is taking itself out.
They say some weird stuff in this game. Something about violating the laws of physics. All I'm doing is standing here. Supposedly, the uh, rumor is that the uh, next thing that's getting updated, or at least one of the next things getting updated, is going to be these, or uh, the Meat Fortress. Alright, let's use an actually Meat Fortress gun. How about... where is the... Normal rifle. Get back in there. All right, now I gotta go this way. Now this is kinda like the Enfield, except I think this is semi-automatic, so it's probably closer to the M14, which would be a good one to use. I like the M14. heavy, it's big and bulky. I'm starting to think this might not have been the right choice for a weapon. Yeah, this was not a good weapon choice. I think they might be holding a grudge. This is going to be really short-lived. See, I was able to work with the Enfield because it hits where I want it to hit. And 
this, I don't know how to aim properly. And it just isn't working for me. used to be one of the like the coolest things to do uh, back when I had uh, Medal of Honor Rising Sun on my original Xbox. Basically my friends and I we would play this in split screen pretty much like uh, all through the night on like the weekends and we would just set it up where it was just the uh, three of us on a team fighting against the AI. And we would always do like the most ridiculous weapon combinations, like uh, go through the entire game using nothing but the uh, well rod single shot, like assassin pistol and stuff like that. And it was like the coolest thing ever. But now games are kind of getting away from split screen, like uh, playing with your friends on like the couch. They're just not doing it anymore. I really should start counting how many shots I fire so I know how many I've got left. Am I going to do that? Probably not. In fact, I've been at this for a minute. Probably going to call it after I die this time. Wanted to uh, set up a couple new weapons, and I did. I even properly zeroed an M16A4. And then I got to come into the uh, Meat Fortress world and just start uh, causing chaos and discontent. The 
the thing is, from this position, there's not a whole lot I can do. Yeah, there's like not much I can do from here. This isn't the best position. But generally what my friends and I would do in those games, we would pick like a location on the map. Somewhere we can easily defend. Put the difficulty up on like the uh, max settings for the AI and then just see if we can successfully hold out and repel the AI. And basically you just keep going till you all die. And it was just a great way to kill several hours. Then when we uh, got older, we uh, found out you can do this in uh, real life. So we got into uh, playing Airsoft. Then pretty much all three of us joined the military at some point. Uh, both of my friends joined the army. I joined the Marine Corps. Only one of us was anything close to combat arms. He was a combat engineer. My other friend was a diesel mechanic, and I was an electronics technician. But it was kind of cool that when we, uh, after we had all went into the military for some amount of time each, after we all did that, we went back and played Airsoft. And it was funny because we got a lot better at communicating and just, we made better, like, tactical decisions. And it was just really, really cool. I know you guys are here. You should try to avoid the explosions. The sausages are Scottish now. I really like playing in VR. It's just such a weird thing to stream. Because there's like so many extra steps and things you have to do. That you have to go through an extra process just to do it. We're going up here. <laughs> now that was cool. Ow. Alright, I'm 
I'm not dead yet. Getting close, but we're not there. Oh, no. Hello. Well, it just wouldn't be a shooting game if they didn't come close to what I think sounds like a knock on breath off brand full metal jacket. been doing this for two hours now so I figured this was a good thing to do for the day all right so yeah this has been Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades, or H3VR. Uh, this seems like as good of a stopping place as any. So, thank you all for watching, and have a nice day.